Hello everyone, this is Ashish Sani from Innovate Yourself. Welcome back to our channel. Today we are diving into the exciting world of embedded systems as we explore how to seamlessly connect an SSD 1306 OLED display and a push button to an ESP32 using the power of ESP IDA framework. But wait, 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 wait. We are not gonna use any external push button with the ESP32. Then what are we gonna use? Where is the push button then? So basically in this video, I'm gonna show you something new and that's something new is that we are gonna use ESP32 and on ESP32, if you will notice, there are two buttons. One is your enable and the second one is your boot. So basically, we are gonna use this boot push button which is already there on ESP32. So I'm gonna use that and I'm gonna completely show you and demonstrate you like how you can connect that ESP32 to your push button which is already there and how you can program that so that you can do the functionalities with it and in our case we are gonna add up the functionality with the SSD 1306 so that what I'll do is I'll simply press the button which is already there on ESP32 and on every press the message is gonna change and that message is gonna display on SSD 1306. So this is all that we're gonna cover in a today's video. So I hope you are very excited to learn about this thing. So let's not waste time and let's straight forward go to the project and let's understand the circuit diagram and the coding stuff. So let's get started. So this is the connection of your ESP32 with SSD 1306. You can see here we have connected SCK and SDA pin to the pin number 22 and the pin number 21 of ESP32 and also we have provided a proper ground and VCC so that we can make a proper communication and we can give a proper supply to the SSD 1306 module. So this is about the connection. Now let's move ahead. All right. So now, like as we have already made the connections, now it's time to further write up the code and let's understand like how we're gonna control the SSD 1306 display uh, and to dis change the messages depending on the button press. So let's see like how are we gonna do that. Now, as you can see, like uh, I have already opened up the code over here and uh, don't worry about the code. I will add up the link in the description so you can directly check that and uh, you can uh, see like how it's gonna work. But now let me do one thing. Let me explain this code to you because uh, in uh, our previous video, we have already seen the basics of SSD 1306 and how to display the code on that. I have simply made up the uh, further updations in that only, right? So now let me show you and let me explain you like what exactly we are going to do in here and what exactly we have done exactly, right? So basically the push button, which is already there on ESP32, that is by default connected to pin number zero, or you can say GPIO zero. So we can directly use that pin number GPIO zero to control that, or let's say to read the inputs of that push button and to accordingly control the functionalities, right? So basically when you will uh, not press the button, by default, you will get a high signal. And when you will press the button, you will get a zero signal. So basically we're gonna read these changes and on the basis of that, that we are gonna control or let's say we are gonna change the message that I have just uh, explained you in the beginning right so this is what we are gonna do now for that let me show you what exactly I have done in here right so if you re guys remember like in my last video I have already shown you like how to basically display a simple message right and uh, to do that this was the complete code right which i have already uh, having in here right but i have just modified it in such a way like uh, instead of displaying the message directly with this code i have simply uh, made this function so that I can simply get this display uh, like object uh, as a return value and I can use it further. So that's the reason I have simply called this over here and the data type for that is like LV underscore disp underscore T. So this is the data type and uh, the same data type I have used to create the function for that, right? So this is what I have done. And uh, over here, once I have done this, after that, you can see over here, I am using the GPIO pin, like uh, GPIO pin number zero, which I have already mentioned and I'm using it as an input pin. So that is what I have specified over here by using this function, which is GPIO underscore set underscore direction. So I have simply used that. And after that, I'm 
initializing a counter with the name count so that every time i will press a button what will happen is i will simply change the value of that or let's say i'll simply increment the value of the count by one so that every time the number gets changed i will be able to display a different message right like over here you can see like i am reading up the level for this pin number zero and as i already mentioned when you will get a high signal that means the button is not pressed right so basically that's the reason i have simply done the uh, invert of that that's the reason i have this exclamation mark over here in the beginning so that i can invert this output right so this is how i will simply uh, be able to get the response like when i will press the button so basically when you will press the button it should simply first of all display this message which is like button pressed and also along with that this is the functionality that is executing over here right and over here what's happening is i am simply changing the value of the count that is over here i'm changing the value of the count like over here it's like incrementing the value by one and i have mentioned it like when i will press uh, it first time i will get this message displayed which is my name ashish seni and the second time when i will press it it will uh, display innovate yourself next time it's like like share comment next time it will simply ask you to subscribe now and at the end just take care and stay happy just like that you can display any other message as well right so in this way i'm doing it and also you can see over here that i have simply set up this v task delay which means i'm providing up a delay and right now i put the value as 50 that means i'm putting up a delay of around uh, uh, 500 milliseconds but you can change this value according to your requirement so that uh, you will get the message uh, like faster or uh, with the more delay right so you can change this value accordingly but for now i'll use this one only so that i can demonstrate it uh, properly right so this is what i have done right now and one more thing is that just because here what is gonna happen is every time you will print a message next time when you will print a new message the message is gonna be like overridden right so suppose i have simply print the message first time as like ashish seni so the next message when i will print it will be like innovate yourself but this message is gonna be overwritten so basically the thing is when you will have this thing uh, in your screen you will not be able to visualize your message properly right so for that reason what we need to do is we just need to clear the screen every time uh, we display a message or you can say first we will clear the screen and then we will display that message and to do that we will go to this function which is example underscore this and that is inside this which is the second uh, c file which is uh, in the main folder right and i've already shown you in my last video like uh, uh, how i'm adding it to my uh, main code which is this one right and if you are not aware about that like how to do that you can check my previous video so you will be able to get the clarity like what exactly we have done over here right so that's the way like how we do it and now over here this time i have also modified it like instead of putting the message directly uh, i've simply created a new parameter so that i'll take up the value for that and accordingly i'll simply put that value and that's the reason we are able to put multiple messages like this right so this is what we have done and uh, apart from that like as i said that i have to simply clear the screen right so you can see this is the extra line that i have added and also at the end this is the extra line extra function i'm calling over here so basically this is gonna clear your screen and this is gonna refresh the display uh, just to tell you like yes uh, the ssd 1306 can take the next message so it's like the acknowledgement signal also you can say right so this is the only changes that we are making over here rest is just the same like you have already seen in my previous video right so that's all about the coding stuff i hope you guys have understood like what exactly i have explained right now and how exactly this is happening but still if you guys haven't understood anything or you guys have any doubts in any of the topic then feel free to leave a comment below in the comment section and i will try to uh, respond to you as soon as possible so uh, it's all about this now when we are done with this our next step is that we have to simply connect our esp32 to the system so, so that, that we can simply see like how does this happen and how is it working right so let me connect it to my system and accordingly i'll see like uh, how it's gonna work right so let me connect it
all right so you can see i have connected my uh, esp32 or you can say my circuit to my uh, system now it is asking me to allow this so i'll allow this now i have my terminal opened as well right so over here just simply uh, do the basic functionalities right so that we can write up the command right so let me do that quickly and in fact if you are not aware about that you can check my previous video uh, because i have already explained there like what exactly we have done over there right so let me do it quickly all right so this is the done uh, so now i'll simply first of all uh, build my file and also i'll write up the second command along with this idf.py and just write up the uh, further command to flash this code so i'm just simply typing that right and also i'm uh, starting my serial monitor at the end right so this is what exactly the command is and now i'm gonna run it so that i can build it and i can flash it to my uh, esp32 so let me run it okay looks like uh, this port is not available okay let's do one thing let's uh, not put the port over here let it decide which port to use okay so it found the port and uh, according to that it is just uploading it right so you can see this so you can see the program is uploaded successfully and now uh, when you will press the button you will be able to see like how it's gonna work right so this is the way like how it is working and this is uh, the way like uh, uh, how we have uploaded the program right so it is all about that now let's check uh, the working of this right so let's see that so guys you can see the circuit and everything is ready and by default the initial message was ashish seni as i mentioned in the code so this is the basic message and uh, we have got it here now i'll simply press this uh, boot button so you can see the message changed to innovate yourself it's yeah it uh, changed the message very fast like subscribe now take care innovate yourself like share comment so i have just simply press the button continuously so that's the reason you can see it is changing uh, like continuously right if i'll stop it will also stop you can see all right all right guys so i hope i was able to make you clear about this concept and i hope now you have learned something new from the today's session definitely so i hope uh, you have understood it but still if you guys have any doubts regarding any of the topic which i have uh, covered today feel free to leave a comment below in the comment section and also if you have liked this video do click on the like button and if you are new to our channel and if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet do click on the subscribe button so that you won't miss any videos from our channel and also you can hit the bell icon if you want to get a notification whenever we'll upload a new video so that's all from my side for today see you in the next video Till then, bye-bye, take care and happy learning.